My name is Michael Park and I'm the Chief Executive of the Scottish Whitefish Producers Association. My own background is as a fisherman. As a kid of 10 year old I had my own rowing boat. I used to row out and haul my lobster pots before school. I then just progressed to fishing because that was my, my core love. Life as a fisherman is tough. I was a skipper for 35 years. You have to deal with the toughest conditions, both in terms of trying to make money, but in terms of working conditions as well. Most of the vessels behind us go out for six, eight days at a time, one day in, away again. It's that relentless. It's never ending. It's just the fishing business. You know, you come to Peterhead on a dark December day and the waves are breaking over the breakwater. You'll see a boat going out between the, the piers to try and make a wage for his crew so they can pay the mortgage. It's as basic as that. Peterhead is the biggest white fish port in Europe. For us, the big stock is haddock. You know, we're a nation that were brought up, as I was brought up as a kid, was on fish and chips. And when we talk of fish, the fish component of that meal is haddock. Most of the haddock in Europe is landed through the port of Peterhead. I remember being at a presentation by one of the big multiples in 2004, I think it was, where they said that they would not source from any non-certified stocks post-2012. And I came home, thought about that message, and realised that if this industry was to survive, we had to ensure that our product remained on the shelves of these, these big companies. Sustainability is the core of that. It's about gaining certification for the stocks, which is about gaining the gold standard for your actions. And your actions have got to be seen, they've got to be visible. The fish that we land to this market are bought by a range of buyers, some of the small guys for the small fish shops, but the majority are big processors buying a vast amount of fish. You will have a buyer walking by a most beautiful shot of fish because that vessel is not signed up to the MSC logo. If you want to lock into that sort of bulk element in terms of supplying a lot of fish, then you need that, that, that swoosh, you need that tick. We have done a wonderful job in Scotland and it's in collaboration with the MSC. Uh, we have no regrets, we think it's a great position to be in. Fishing is one of these activities that once you go over the horizon, the actions are hidden. So you have to be committed to the actions to get it to work. And up in this part of the woods now, we are committed to sustainable fishing. The real wealth is what you leave behind in the sea because that's what gives you your next pay packet and the pay packet after that. So it's that understanding that the wealth is about what you leave behind means that that has to join up to sustainable practices, which means being selective, it means being careful, and it means managing it exceptionally well. Just going out to catch fish is not good enough anymore. It's understanding the environment, the ecology, you know, protection of habitats, it's all those good things. Would a fisherman have talked about that many years ago? Absolutely not. He was focused on making, catching fish and making money. We still need to be focused on that, but it's got to be within a sustainable sort of framework. It's got to be as part of a sustainable family. When I started, we used to try and sail on a Sunday and land that same week. Within five years we were sailing a Sunday, we were landing the Thursday of the following week. I used to spend 10 to 12 days a fortnight away from my family. My kids were literally brought up without a father. That's a tough, that's a harsh environment. For that you need the reward, you need more money than most people are making ashore. You can't get that unless your stocks are sustainable, you can't get that unless you have a good business model. So I think the industry understand that now and the sacrifice that we make at the end of the day will actually benefit the next generation and that's what this is all about not robbing anything from the next generation it's actually protecting it and taking care of it this industry has been through a dark period the only way we can secure our future is to secure the stocks out there and make sure that the fishermen fishing it understand what they need to do no one is doing more for sustainable fishing than we are here in scotland no one Europe or the rest of the world. We're at the forefront of change. It starts here.